Yana and James are now husband and wife. James, you may now kiss the bride. down and had a chat uh, I just wanted to check in and do a new video for you guys today is hopefully what will be a day one of officially trying to conceive baby number two hi Noe hi guys so we're going to see um, the doctor um, that helped us with Noah which is dr. David Wilkinson uh, today and I'm hoping to get a script for Clomid have been to a couple of other doctors down in my area um, but I have not had luck with them and they just don't get what I'm trying to do and they're just sort of not helping me over this process they keep deferring me and try this and in a couple of months then we can do this try this to and she keeps trying to sort of put me on the pill to regulate my periods which is total opposite of trying to have a baby so um, I'm going back to my original doctor and I'm hoping he can help me uh, so yeah we're very excited today and I just I wished looking back on our journey with Noah uh, we uploaded our trying to conceive videos like after we got pregnant and we also didn't really document his pregnancy or um, the birth or sort of just straight after that and I really wish that we had have done that or had some footage of even if it wasn't uploaded just to have some footage of that journey so here we are that is why I'm making this video um, it is a very hard road trying to conceive and I hope that it isn't too difficult for us um, so yeah we're a bit excited to I'm a bit nervous every time I go to the doctors uh, my weight seems to be a huge issue uh, which I'm not saying it isn't but I do think there is a lot of other factors uh, like my age and my fertility problems already that come before that so I actually had a super healthy pregnancy with Noah um, I was a, I was a lot lighter when I actually went to um, first conceive Noah when we went to get the Clomid um, but I did lose a lot of weight in weight in early pregnancies and I kept it off I had a very um, healthy pregnancy. I only gained 10 kilos through my pregnancy with Noah and he was born at just on four. Um, so I was super happy. Um, since then I have um, obviously put on some weight. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit nervous that that will come up and be an issue and I hope it doesn't get me too deflated. I will do a check in after my appointment and let you know how we went. Daddy, how are you feeling today? You excited? Mm -hmm. Baby number two? Baby number two. Are we gonna get a baby? Yeah. Yeah. We are back from the doctor. He was so nice, wasn't he? He was so nice. Um, he remembered us or acted like he did very well. Um, he was very friendly and approachable. It was a really good appointment. I was nervous for nothing. Um, yeah, just so different to the other appointments I've experienced with my other gynecologist. He was really, really great. He wanted to start us on Clomid straight away. He said there was no reason um, to wait for that. Um, and he's not going to be putting me back on metformin um, at this stage. So he just did a blood work um, run to see where all my hormone levels are at and just to make sure my thyroid and everything else is a-okay. He will then give me a call later this week to let me know whether I can start the Clomid and then we'll schedule a check-in appointment to see how the follicles are growing or responding to the Clomid. He did also do an internal exam um, and checked everything out. He said everything looks good. There was a large cyst there, but he said there wasn't, he wasn't worried at the stage. It's just something to keep an eye on. Everything's looking good so hopefully um, by next week we would have started um, the Clomid so hopefully um, yeah this is a really good start for journey of baby number two uh, so he also didn't really mention uh, much about my weight we went into the exam room I did sort of mention it to him about how the other doctor um, was really worried about my weight um, and he said 
that he wasn't too worried. He said just to keep going with um, like healthy eating and like normal exercise, um, and that's just going to help me in general have a healthy pregnancy and get pregnant better. Um, but he said there was no point as to not do the fertility treatment, lose 20 kilos, and then start it. He's like he's seen me at a much lower rate. Uh, sorry. He's seen me at a much lower rate and my file indicates I still was not ovulating at that time and I still did need um, the Clomid anyway. So he wasn't worried and yeah, he just said to keep going with my um, like eating healthy and working out every day or like just doing some moderate exercise every day. And did we go to the doctor? Yeah. Yeah, Dr. David. Yeah. Did you like him? Yeah. Yeah, did you have um, toys? Was there toys in his in his room? Yeah. Yeah? Were you playing with them? He said that you were so good to pack them all up, all by yourself. And he said, you're so tall. He said, last time I saw you, you were just a little dot. And now look at how tall you are. Yeah? Yeah. Did you like him? He's mummy's friend. Yeah.